Hey, hey, Scorpio, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your February 2024 career reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. These are general readings. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, so Scorpio, some of you may be changing gears is kind of what I get here, changing gears. So if things have been feeling a little bit destructive because what they're showing me is a train track and I feel like there could be a crossroads coming up where instead of going the route or the direction that you thought you had planned out, I feel like you're going to shift and you're going to take this other pathway and you may actually decide last minute. So this could be an unexpected offer that comes in for you. Perhaps there is a change in plans because of something outside of your control even. And I feel like you just shift gears. You actually have the gears card showing up here. I feel like this is quite exciting because there's no going back. Like a train, right? When you're on that train track and you decide to move in a new direction, it's not like you're going to stop halfway and then, you know, turn it around here. So I feel like this could be a very pivotal moment within your career sector. Yeah, you're, you're turning, you're course correcting. You start off with the 10 of wands in reverse. So I feel like a direction you thought you were coming to uh, a point, or maybe some of you it's even burnout. Maybe you've been in some sort of a burnout phase or period where you're opening yourself up to a new beginning. And we see that with the ace crossing your path. So beautiful confirmation and clarification coming in here for you. Okay, we're just getting all your cards out here. You do have the moon card underneath the deck here. So within your energy, there are some uncertainties and that may actually be okay for you because it's going to allow you to take that leap of faith. It's going to allow you to embrace that last minute change and that shift coming in and you have a lot of action i mean you have almost all the knight cards out here you have the knight of wands knight of pentacles knight of swords the only one i don't see here is the knight of cups so i'm not sure how much emotion you are putting into something this could be that aquarian energy scorpio where you're thinking quick you're thinking on your feet you are possibly even making a little bit of a an impulsive decision last minute, but I actually feel like it turns out for the better. Now let's take a look at what we have going on here. You have the gold bar and the gold has been showing up for a few different signs in the month of February because gold is something that is sustainable. It's something that we've had in the very beginning and it it can, we can fall back on it as well. It's something that it holds its value and I feel like there's something that you are investing in, that you're holding true to yourself. This is you investing in your, your spiritual gifts, your integrity, your beliefs, your morals. I feel like you've done a lot of work reprogramming yourself to be in a higher vibrational frequency, Scorpio. You've been doing the deep work. You are the sign of mysticism and going deep, going within. And this is about deep values. Now, some of you could even be in the banking industry. This could be a long-term position that you've been in for quite some time. Uh, perhaps things have been a little bit too routine. Maybe it was satisfying at one point, but I feel like you're switching things up and it's like you're getting back to the root of or the core of a situation here because you don't see people handing out gold bars, right? And I feel like you are... You're taking something back to basic here, but not, not in a way that is complicated or convoluted. I feel like this is you kind of going back to basics and that may be part of the last minute change or juncture that we see coming in here for you. And it's not necessary, uh, necessarily impulsivity that is going to land you in 
a, a, a pot pot. I actually feel like it's going to land you in something quite brilliant, quite genius. And it's good that you're acting on it now because this could even be uh, an inventive idea. It could be something that you patent. Uh, perhaps you're listening to your intuition and you open up your computer and you are guided to scroll on some sort of social media page or a career page and boom, you see this job and it lights you up and you're thinking, wow, I just need to apply for this position because it could really, you know, it could change my life. But then maybe you shut your laptop, you forget about it, and then it may start to really uh, shift gears energetically. That's kind of what I feel here because there's definitely a new contract coming in for you, Scorpio. Now you have the gears and this is exactly what I see here coming up to that juncture but you're not pausing to think about it. It's like you're you're just making that turn. You're not slowing down, just like a train doesn't necessarily uh, slow down. It just kind of moves. I feel like you could also be avoiding some sort of something down the road. If you were to continue going uh, down this path, maybe you would end up in burnout or maybe this path uh, closes down for you in some way, shape or form. Maybe that company goes under or, you know, whatever you're doing over here, it's like your soul is guiding you to course correct and to pivot. And this is about putting those plans into motion. It's hard work. It is building, building a business, building a reputation, building your portfolio. This is about teamwork as well. Maybe even taking a little bit of time off in the future. Maybe that's why you're working so hard now. Maybe it's to retire. Maybe it's to travel, take a vacation because I get a sense of security here, but February into March could be a very busy month for you. Now you do have the seal, the deal, business contracts, soul contracts, client contracts coming in here. There could be a document that you're looking over uh, and maybe it is about you making sure that you're double checking everything, you know, making sure your your I's are dotted, your T's are crossed, so to speak, which means you you something you know like the back of your hand is what I'm hearing. But double check it anyway, because maybe there's one too many zeros or there's not enough zeros. So just double check some sort of documentation. There could be a gift of money coming in. There could be something that surprises you and you have to look at it a couple different times because I get that there is a little bit of a, is this really happening for me? There could be something with writing, clerical work, paperwork, staying put. And a lot of signs have been getting this card as well because this can be a big time for finances, taxes, taking a look at quarterlies, payments, uh, maybe even diving into some new promotions, some new creative endeavors, things of that nature. And I feel like uh, this month is no different for you. You may want to check out your 2024 yearly reading as well, Scorpio, and see what February has in store and see the synchronicities there. But I definitely feel like you're sealing the deal that could bring in uh, potential money in the following months. So maybe it, you seal the deal in February, but then in March you start to see something paying out. Now, because you have the moon hidden in your energy, maybe there is a sense of uh, uncertainty, but look at this. The biggest word that it's almost highlighted here in bright yellow for you is being guided. You're being guided almost on autopilot, but it's not. It's just you being in tune where you immediately take that, you know, exit. It's like driving on the highway and then you have this clear knowing like I need to take that exit instead of looking for an exit to take because you need to fill up for gas, right? There's a, a difference. And it's not that you had even planned on making this stop or changing or course correcting, but you were being guided to. And that's what I feel here. Maybe you're being guided to leave a job. Maybe this is something part-time. Maybe it's a night shift or some sort of hobby project or creative endeavor that you're spending a little bit of time at or time doing or partaking at night. Maybe when that moon is full, there could be an energy around a new moon or a full moon in February as well. For those of you that are that work with the moon cycles, there could be some magic, some powerful shifts around the moon. I don't know the dates offhand here, uh, but I, I think that those are going to be important for you as well. That could be when you see some of these action steps taking place. 
Now we do have toxic work environment. Maybe that's part of the course correction showing up here. Uh, perhaps you've been in some sort of situation that there has been a lot of toxicity between you and other people. Maybe it's just lower vibrations hitting some higher vibrations and you don't like that because typically if you're in a higher vibration, that's what you're gonna, going to attract, but sometimes you can't help but be in that environment and it just clashes, it's not aligned. And as much as you're trying to set a healthy boundary, I feel like there's some sort of maybe leak in the energy field around you or someone else that's still a little bit draining. It's still uh, causing you to kind of feel a little discombobulated. Uh, this is also, for some of you, you may work in a line of work that has to do with uh, maybe a hazard. Maybe this is the medical field and you have to wear a mask, right? This could be working with asbestos or working with lead or working with, you know, sanding or things that can affect the body if they get inside the body, right? Uh, viruses, it could be toxins, it could be anything of that nature. And I feel like this is uh, a month where you're really looking into this and saying, does this align with what I want to do, right? Does this align with the energy that I am shifting within me? And I feel like if it does not, that's where you're being divinely guided to move in a new direction. A lot of you are working on repairing your credit, your credit score. This could be credibility as well, your credibility. So it could be about updating your resume. For those of you that are wanting to put out a new resume, you may want to adjust your resume according to the job description. And uh, also I feel like there could be some missing key factors on your resume that you may be forgetting about. So do a little bit of a deep dive, a little bit of inventory, even if it seems insignificant, it may be quite significant to someone else. And that may be the key piece that gets you in the door. That may be the actual piece that they look at and say, wow, I really want Scorpio to come work for me. Next you have overtime. So I do see with all this action energy showing up for you in the month of February, you could be putting in some time, okay? You could be putting in, you know, that hard work. You're putting your plans into motion. Don't worry because I do see that you're gonna be able to take a little bit of time off or you're gonna have a surplus of uh, maybe income coming in so you will be able to slow it down, but you're on a roll. Right, you're on a roll, Scorpio, and I feel if as long as you are taking some time for yourself and trying to find that balance, don't uh, don't allow yourself to get burnt out. That's the big message here with the Ten of Wands. So don't overdo it. If you feel like you're in your zone of genius and you work best at night, or you feel like you can do a million things, great. But don't get to the point where you're exhausting your resources and you don't have time for maybe family or time to eat or time to even sit down or rest or it's affecting your sleep. Those are things you want to take a look at. There's some sort of approval coming in here, stamp of approval. There's the contract that we see. Now, of course, it could be a loan but I feel like it can be any business contract. There's some sort of approval. There's some sort of yes or uh, accepted offer or coming on board. I like this energy, but it's gonna change your life. It will change your life. I don't wanna say, but it's going to change your life. It will change your life, but there's gonna be a decision to make, right? Do I say yes to this or what do I do now? I almost get like a three of wands energy and I'm just looking to see if we have that. We don't have a three of wands, but I feel like with all the action, you are moving forward here, which is great. So big decisions. Uh, you see that a lot of those doors are gray, but you have the one red door. So there is definitely an opportunity that's right here and it's gonna bring in a lot of stability here for you. And I feel like this is the month that you make a decision or maybe an emperor comes in and makes this deci decision for you that allows you to finally jump to this next timeline, this next shift. So let's dive into the tarot. You start off with the Ten of Wands in reverse. This is good because it means that you understand that you can't do everything all on your own or you realize the importance of overdoing things. Okay, we don't wanna to get to that point again of burnout, exhaustion, 
uh, mental, physical health being deteriorated because of maybe some sort of toxicity. That's what we are shifting, last minute even. Some of you may just throw your hands up in the air and say, I'm done. I'm going in this direction. I'm going to work for these people. And it could be a surprise to you, but it's actually putting you on the right path. So if you felt like you were carrying the burdens or maybe you were working in a very uh, a heavy workplace where I feel like it, there is a heavy workload on you and maybe you were working five man's, you know, five different people's jobs because of maybe poor management or because of huge decisions that corporate or upper management did or did not make, right? Uh, so I feel like this is the month that you're realizing that something has become too much for you and you're moving in a new direction saying, I don't want to do that to my body. I don't want to do that to my mental health. I don't want to take on so much that I don't have time for the things I love. Because remember, the night that's missing is the night of cups. So you don't want to miss out on the things that you love because of this 10 of wands. Now, another message here with the 10 of wands is sometimes we can be a Mr. or Mrs. Fix it. We want to fix everyone's problems. We want to heal everyone, help everyone, because it could be part of our nature. We just want to give, 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 but sometimes it's at the expense of our own well-being. And for those of you people pleasers out there or Mr. or Mrs. Fix it, that's something you want to tune into because you don't want to become exhausted and leak out that energy, right? Like we talked about earlier, there's some sort of a leak happening here between your energy field and someone else's that needs to be patched up. It needs to be addressed, healthy boundaries, because we don't want to overdo it. That can cause uh, physical dis-ease, also known as disease, in the body, and we don't want that. Now, what's crossing your energy is the Ace of Wands, right? Crossing your energy is this beautiful new opportunity, but part of what could be blocking that is we need to release some of the burdens so we can move forward because right now it may feel like we're, we're going 180 miles per hour on that train track and there's just not a lot of time to, to pivot. I feel like you're going to pivot, but it is last minute because what they're literally showing me is a Y in the tracks and it's like, the the train or the the conductor doesn't realize that you know we're really going to go on that path maybe the conductor doesn't even realize or see that that path is open it just thinks that it's trucking them on doing 180 right and all of a sudden it comes up quickly and then makes a, a rash decision to course correct and to go a new path so I don't know why we're deciding last minute. I think I think I do know why because you you don't want to carry these burdens and uh, this new opportunity looks great. Uh, Ace of Wands is a new sense of purpose. It is reinventing yourself. It's optimism. It's creativity. But why and how you're making this decision is because wands are all about spiritual force and there's a spiritual force backing up this energy that allows you to shift direction this is quite interesting here very very unique scorpio but you're gonna know and i feel like there could be a a factor towards maybe the 17th or so of february again check out the moon cycle see when that new moon and that full moon is because the 17th could be significant now what's in your foundation a lot of wishful thinking, a lot of options and choices that sometimes overwhelm you, and that may be why you're just kind of going full speed. And sometimes you, all you do is look out that window and you see the trees passing by and it's just a big blur because it feels overwhelming. And I feel like there's a need to focus here. Now that you've kind of course corrected, this scenic route, route is going to allow you to see something quite beautiful. It's going to slow you down a little bit. And that may be why I see if you don't course correct, which I feel like you're definitely going to, you have that spiritual force. But if you were to keep going at the, the speed that you were going at uh, over here, right? I see that there's some sort of disaster, catastrophe, dis-ease, uh, disease. Maybe you work yourself into a hernia or something of that nature, but you're shifting because you realize what's happening and you're quite intuitive and you're quite spiritual and this is pretty significant for you. Now, in the recent past, you could have dealt with a boss. Maybe you yourself was the boss. Perhaps you were helping someone else build their dream. 
But I feel for some of you, part of this course correction is you building your dream, maybe slowing things down a little bit. It can be about, you know, getting back to basics. I keep hearing that for you, getting back to basics. So it's almost like um, taking a look at yourself. And sometimes we, you know, let's say you've ate super crappy over the weekend. You ate a bunch of sugar, a bunch of processed foods. Maybe you've ate, a, you know, drank a bunch of alcohol and you're just feeling gross. You're feeling uh, inflated. You're feeling... Uh, heavy, you're feeling stuck, your body's making all kinds of noises and you can't sleep right and it just feels like it's it's messing you up. And what do we do to kind of get back to uh, our, our regular self, the back to the full body function is there's a little bit of reset that needs to be done. Maybe you go on a, a fast, maybe you take, you know, do some sort of diet or maybe you really start to bring in enriching foods. That's kind of what I see happening here with you getting back to making some healthy choices and not feeling so sluggish and heavy and weighed down by some situations that you've gone through. And with this emperor, this is leadership. It is uh, power. It is also strong Aries energy. And we have Aries in the North Node at this time. So you could be really getting back to basics this entire rest of the Aries North Node, Libra South Node shift, which is until January of 2025. So I really like what I see here, Scorpio, because look at what's coming in above you. Knight of Wands. There's our, our Knight number one coming in. This is literally the, the potential, what you are bringing in to your reality is your, it's go time with this Knight of Wands. He is passionate, he's excited, he's brave enough to move forward. He has that spiritual force behind him that sometimes people look at and say, well, that's a little bit reckless, Scorpio, but you're saying, you know, I need to do this for me. It doesn't matter what, you know, A, B, or C says or what society thinks or what this person thinks. This is about me and my spiritual path. And you're willing to jump through hoops almost like an at all cost to kind of get back to back to the basics or back to some sort of passion or emotion or you know zest for life is kind of what I feel even though we're doing a career reading this does ricochet out into all areas of your life and Scorpio with this Knight of Wands you're looking for uh, your next adventure but I feel like this adventure instead of going a hundred you know 180, on that train track where there's not even room to comprehend or to think about things, or maybe it just feels so overwhelming that you look outside and it's a big blur, right? This way, this new direction, I see the scenery and the landscape very green, very lush. So there could be some significance here around springtime. This could be about travel. Trains can also be about community. Uh, getting together with other like-minded individuals. In the near future, here's night number two, the night of pentacles. That This is slowing it down a little bit. So here, what comes in is this excitement. There's that passion, that spiritual force that says, okay, we're kicking it into gear over here. And now in the near future, this allows you to slow things down a bit. Night of pentacles is... The night that you go to when you want honesty, when you want trustworthiness, when you want reliable results, you know that this person is willing to do what it takes to follow through, stay consistent, and get to their 10 of pentacles. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles showing up here is that slow and steady type of canter, right? Maybe walking that horse. Uh, it, it's almost like you are... Thinking things through now, you have a little bit of time to really process maybe things that have gone on in the past or what happened in the past. And I just feel like slowing it down. I keep getting that phrase. It's never come in so strong before is back to basics. So that, that might have to be the title for you. How are you feeling? Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is saying that you feel like you're missing out on maybe family time. You may be missing out on your love life, some of you, maybe I just heard someone say, Melissa, what love life? Even if you're married or even if you're in a relationship because work could be overwhelming you. And you're saying, I need to shift things up because I'm not in true alignment with what my heart wants. 
And like I said, the night that's missing is that night of cups. So we want to be able to open ourselves up to love and, you know, intuitive compassion for ourselves, for our family, for others, for community, for friendships for coworkers, for people that we work with and align with the energy instead of feeling the chaos and the leaky energy between you and others, there's something here with being in alignment with other like-minded individuals, including those that you love and those that support you and those that are more of like family instead of competition, right? And also some of you want to clear out some sort of family debt or something that's owed I see that there could have been a loan from maybe even a family member or you may have been paying for a family member. Maybe you were paying for your mother's uh, nursing home bill or there could have even been some sort of inheritance. Maybe you were wanting, even though that's more of the Ten of Pentacles, there is something around family here that you felt like you were missing out on and that's part of this shift that's coming in here for you. Because what are you doing with the Eight of Swords? You're ready to release yourself. You're ready to tell yourself a new story because Eight of Swords shows up here in reverse saying you're moving towards freedom, freeing yourself from thought. There's a big release coming in here for you, Scorpio. Because for whatever re reason, you felt caged. Maybe you didn't even realize you felt caged. I feel like a lot of you did because you are deep. You are intuitive. You are spiritual. You probably knew that something was suppressing you on a, even a soul level. You just thought that this isn't aligning with me anymore. I want to move over in this, this new energy. I want to feel more simplicity. I want to talk to a human, not a, a robot. There is something here with uh, live interaction or reaching people on a soul heart to heart level. Some of you, I'm getting this message. Some of you deal with disgruntled people. So maybe that was part of the low vibrations and the high vibrations. And I mean, if you're a light worker, which a lot of you are, that can be a part of helping uplift. So maybe some of you are in, let's say, a 911 call center, right? You would deal with people who are going through a lot of panic, a lot of anxiety, fears, a lot of that lower energy when there is an emergency or a catastrophe happening and you are the calm. You are the person who helps that, but there has to be an exchange. So some of you I mean, this could go for not just 911 operator, but it could be medical field. It could be, uh, you know, therapist. It could be even working in any sort of a call center. You deal with a disgruntled person or someone who is panicking or fear-based or they're going through some medical issues or anything of that nature. I feel like some of you, you've taken on too much. Okay, taking on too much here. You've really let it affect you. You've acquired some sort of exhaustion or burnout. And I feel like you are freeing yourself from that. And maybe it doesn't mean that you're leaving that line of work, but maybe that's part of the rest coming in here. But because we have so many action cards, uh, I don't mind to see though the Knight of Pentacles showing up because I feel like there's movement towards your highest good. And your hopes and fears are new opportunities, right? You don't want to miss out on your soul's mission, your purpose, your passions, your family, your life. You don't want to miss out on your life because of one day of raining, right? Uh, because of one day of disgruntled employees or because there's been some sort of loss. And I feel like you had every reason possible to kind of hide under this umbrella for a bit Scorpio, but we don't want to stay there the rest of our lives. And I feel like that's what your fear is, staying under that umbrella for the rest of your life and missing out on the sunshine, missing out on the abundance, missing out on, again, life opportunities. And the four of cups, remember, we don't see a lot of cups here. And I feel that that's where you are headed is to more emotionally fulfilling opportunities. But right now you may be working on opening up that that heart a little bit more. Now, what do we see as the final outcome? You're taking action. This is Ace of Swords, second fastest moving energy with the Knights, and you're cutting through the fluff. I really like this because she's not holding a sword, which typically the swords, you know, represent a lot of Knights hold the swords because they cut through things. She's actually holding a paintbrush. This is 
uh, also Aquarian energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And for you, Scorpio, I do feel like Aquarian season, which if I didn't mention that already, uh, begins toward the end of January, the 21st, I believe, and goes until the 18th. Aquarian season is reinvention. It's technology, it's brilliant ideas, it's getting in our zone of genius. And that's what you're taking action with your paintbrush there. And you're painting a new story. You're slicing through that cloud there and you're saying, okay, I'm done living in some sort of fantasy or some sort of, maybe not even a fantasy for some of you. Maybe it was just overwhelm. Take it as it resonates. Maybe it's a fantasy you've been living in or it's a chaotic overwhelm. And look at this. She's actually sitting in a bunch of fluff, a bunch of cloud there. That's in the, the foundation of your energy. But here she's rising above that cloud and she's cutting right through it. So definitely getting clear on something that she wants. And actually on her dress, they're highlighting the words. And it says, right is is the right, right is worth the cost, right is worth the cost. And it says something about great many intelligent men or women who think that, and then it kind of goes on and on and on. So there's something here with intelligence, uh, smarts, education possibly, researching something out, uh, feeling like you're able to get to the root of a situation and that's gonna help you kind of get back to basic. This could be even a new opportunity for you to use your words even in a new way, okay? I get something with learning, maybe a word of the day. Some of you could even be opening up a dictionary or maybe you have an app on your phone that gives you a word of the day. That's, that's interesting. So Knight of Swords, cutting through the fluff and finally feeling like you're getting some answers. You're getting some clarity to any sort of confusion that maybe you've had in the past. So Scorpio, let's get a message from the Wisdom of the Oracle. This is an interesting reading for you. I definitely sense that you are, look at this, you have here and now, here and now. So I like this because it means that if you were too focused on way past, way in the past energy or too far into the future, you'd be missing out on uh, spirit's guidance to say, okay, we're going to make a change right here, right now. So it is important for you to stay present, stay focused. Even though I do see a lot of action here, stay mindful within the action. So finding that balance. And we're going to read the message for you here. It's card 32. Some of you may be 32 years old. This is all about being fully present in the moment. It's about living one day at a time. And that's where you are heading. Remember that Knight of Pentacles. He's all about slow and steady wins the race. And when it comes to prosperity, it says here, what, are your, what you are working on, Scorpio, is golden and your efforts will leave a powerful legacy. Focus not on meeting a goal in the far off future, but on creating your dream now. And we talked about that. Remember we said you could be helping someone else in the past with the emperor create their dream, maybe working in the corporate world. And maybe there's a dream that you are starting to build on your own. Releasing your desire for an outcome and owning that it already exists. It will appear in the material world as if by magic, kind of like that course that I see. And I feel like you don't see it, right? And it's not like the Titanic and the iceberg where you don't see it and you, you hit it. I mean, if it wasn't for this almost, I'll say, quote unquote, magical hidden passageway that you're going, yeah, you may have hit that iceberg, but you are making a course correction before you hit that iceberg. And I feel like that's what it means here. It will appear in the material world as if by magic. Claim your prosperity now. The essence is more important than the form. When you are immersed in prosperous thoughts, and we talked about the thoughts too, there's that Aquarian energy, you are automatically tuning into a sense of timelessness and unlimited potential. You can act as if in spite of the temporary outer conditions, you are in a prosperous moment at this, at this time. What you think now becomes your reality. So stay present. Yeah. 
Uh, whenever you do find yourself drifting to the past, wondering if things could have been or should have been better, or maybe you're longing for the good old days, you leak power. That's what it says here. And we've been talking about leaking power. So again, driven by ambition, you might wander too long in a place with no substance and forget that you are here, right here, right now. The past and future are illusions. So look at how all of these words are showing up as the, the larger whole of the picture here. Whenever you leave the present moment, Scorpio, you're disconnecting from your power to manifest your reality with true substance. Neither the past nor future can give you what you need. Now is all that counts. So come back from those eternities and be here now. All will be well and miracles will appear as if by magic in the perfect timing of spirit. I'm loving this message here for you. And then it also has a little bit of a red flag and it says, you are here. You're here. This month is very pivotal for you. And I know in a lot of the yearly reading, Scorpio, if you haven't checked out your yearly, February was an interesting month because it's, it's almost like I wanted to keep timeline jumping or skipping forward. And then I had uh, some beautiful soul comment and say, Melissa, February is a leap month or a leap year. So that makes sense because it may feel like we are making bounds and leaps in the month of February. If you haven't already checked out your yearly reading, I will link the playlist in the video at the end of the reading. You may want to check that out. Now we're going to get a few messages, Scorpio, from your animals. And I just ask if you can at this time, please close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in from your solar plexus chakra, the belly area. Nice big breath in. And upon your exhale, I want you to tune into your third eye chakra, the area between your eyebrows and your forehead region. And I'd like for you, Scorpio, to imagine the first animal or animals that show up in your mind's eye. Now this could be an animal that flies high in the sky. It could be an animal that swims deep in the sea. Perhaps your animals are wild, magical, mystical, or even domesticated. Your animal could be a pet that's crossed over the rainbow bridge, one that's visited through your dreams, or maybe crossed your path in the great outdoors. There is no right or wrong answer, Scorpio. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you're ready. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free reading giveaway, all you need to do is drop your power animals in the comment section below the video. And I personally will enter you into that giveaway, but please make sure you hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss that notification. All right, I have to let you know the animal that I've seen, which it's not in this deck, but some of you may have also seen this, and no surprise, because we are in the year of the dragon, and I've seen a dragon coming in, and dragons can represent major transformations, major uh, life-altering shifts. So if anyone else seen a dragon, I'd love for you to drop it in the comments. Okay, you can't make this up. Look at that. Hummingbird Spirit card three, four, look what it says. Be here now. That is two different cards. There, here and now and be here now. There's a very important message around back to basics, being here in the present, getting back to yourself even, right? And not saying or not calling you basic at all. You're very authentic. You're very unique. But there is something here with overcomplicating things or coming too far uh, or overextending our energy, leaking our power. And we want to kind of get back into feeling our best selves, being our best selves. Be here now. Card 34, Hummingbird Spirit. 
You may be 34 years old. You may be born on the 16th. You may be 32 years old or 47. Next, you have Coyote Spirit. Trust in divine detours. You can't make that up. Here's the divine detour that we see on the train track as well. So trust that this detour is for your highest good because Spirit has your best interest at heart. Oh, I love this. Next, you have Hawk Spirit. Let Spirit be your guide. Yeah, let spirit be your guide. So even if there is a situation that calls for you to release, surrender, let go of the wheel. And it's so interesting, isn't it? That, you know, we're on a train during your whole reading. And I mean, I'm not a conductor. I, I don't recall being in the, the front line of a train really, but I don't think they have a regular type of wheel, right? They have, you know, reverse and forward because there's tracks. So it's almost like you were being forced to surrender, give up the wheel, and let spirit guide you at this time. And then lastly, and this is again what we talked about, you have the pig. And the pig is about using your mind wisely. There's that Aquarian energy. And we see you ending with the Knight of Swords. And we talked all about that mind. So use your mind wisely to cut through any of the fluff, to gain the clarity that you need, to not second guess your own intuition. Whew. This is a powerful reading. If you guys are liking this, hit that thumbs up button. Beautiful energy here. Last but not least, Scorpio, let's get a message from your soul's truth. Now these can be blunt. They can be honest. They really get us thinking. What do we have here? Again, another synchronistic card that flows beautifully into what we're talking about. Are you getting enough rest? to restore your energy and fully show up to your life. You are the asset, Scorpio. This body is your vehicle. Notice how your body is feeling. <laughs> this body is your vehicle. In this case, we're gonna say it's the train. How much sleep you're getting and what you can do to help your body rest, Knight of Pentacles. Today is soul action. Take a bath, put on some lavender essential oil, Go to bed ridiculously early or give yourself a time out today. Notice your body thanking you. Today's mantra, the more I give myself permission to rest, the more I can contribute. That is what I have for you, Scorpio, for career, February 2023. We talked a lot about energy, of course. We talked a lot about what we don't want, but I absolutely see that there's going to be some new contracts here that you may fear that it's going to be too slow or maybe for some of you maybe there is an energy here of maybe even taking a little bit i don't want to say a little bit less pay because i don't see that coming in here for you but if that is an option i i feel like you're going to be okay okay it's about your health investing in yourself is key to having the best career, having the best financial abundance and feeling the security that you truly want to feel has to do with you taking care of you and setting some boundaries for yourself. Thank you, Scorpio, for tuning in. Please feel free to, again, drop your power animals in the comment section below. Please like the video. It certainly helps get the divine channeled messages out there to those that need it most. And again, click on the playlist linked here at the end of this video and check out your 2024 yearly reading if you haven't already. Thank you so very much, Scorpio, for tuning in. Lots of love.